Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to share just a piece of scripture to you or with you from the book of John in chapter 16. Chapter 16 of John. Jesus is speaking and he's speaking in parables and he speaks of the parable of the sower uh, and the seed. And then verse 29 says, His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things? Not that any man should ask thee, By this we believe that thou camest from God. Jesus answered and said, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, and is now come, that ye shall be scattered every man to his own, and shall leave me alone, and yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. Of course, that was a prediction of when they would come and take him from the garden and everybody would leave. It wasn't just Peter, but they all forsook him and fled. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. <laughs> no matter what it is we face, be of good cheer. He has overcome the world. He says in one place that the world is going to hate us. And why wouldn't they? We think uh, when we become a believer that everybody's going to be happy and everybody's going to be glad. Everybody's going to congratulate us or everybody is going to see it the same way we do. And that's not the case. Sometimes, yes, but that's not always the case. It isn't even always the case with some people who have attended church for years. Maybe you get in church, start going, you get saved, and then people say, what in the world happened to him? But, but every problem that comes your way, now you have the very one who gives you the help to overcome it. And if we really look at it, life is so short. The book of James says, for what is your life? It is even as a vapor. It appeareth for a little while. And then it vanishes away. Whatever is going to happen here, it won't happen long. <laughs> Whatever is going to go wrong here, well, you may think, well, that's just absolutely too long. But in, in the thought process, and I guess it is how uh, our perspective is, but the thought process of we've had trouble all of our life. We've had trouble for years, still all of our life for years. Man is a few days and full of trouble, the book of Job says. And what does that mean? Uh, yeah, it, it may be long to us. Mankind judges how long you judge, how long you live against someone who lives to be 100 or somebody who lives to be 102 or 3. Maybe you judge yourself um, how long you think you'll live by how long your, your parents live, your family members. But no matter what, however long you live, it's not long. It'll be over before long. So God has everything in his vision. He sees everything. Whatever it is you, you're going through today, tomorrow may not seem like a whole lot. And by tomorrow, I mean it could actually be a 24-hour period, and it doesn't mean much, or it could be a few years. But whatever it is now, you'll make it through it. I remember when I first heard the news I thought that my life was almost through tears filled my eyes and I recall the pain inside but I knew was a hill I had to climb. The road I had to walk was long and dark. And it looked like my world would fall Then I fell down on my knees and cried, Dear Lord, please hear my plea. And these, these are the words 
He spoke to my heart. I carry tribes on my back down a long, long road and up Calvary's hill, and it was there for you and the world that my blood was spilled. So don't you worry, I can carry you. It's all part of my will, so hold my hand, child. It's just another So if you're facing circumstances, remember God's power is real. Hold the Savior's hands, it's just another heat. Hold the Savior's hand, it's just another Thank you for the day you've given us, God. And I pray that you would watch over and bless, Lord. Give to God the guidance, Lord, for all things that we have need of today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you Wednesday.